When we've scanned the sky and we've sighted the moon And we welcome the month of Ramadan When we'll fast together for Allah To help and strengthen our Iman Assalamu alaikum Ramadan is around the corner and we will all be reciting dua We will be encouraging our children to recite dua And we all want them to be able to recite dua beautifully but do we ever teach them the meaning of what they're reciting? It's good to recite du'a in Arabic. However, we need to understand what we're reciting so it comes from the heart. So this year, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite du'as that we all recite in the month of Ramadan and that I also try to recite throughout the year because it's just one of my favorites. And in that du'a, we are asking Allah to help all the people around the world, be that poor people or hungry people or just general Muslims around the world, you know which dua I'm talking about. Allahumma adkhil ala ahli al sur. So I wanted to show you how you can teach this dua to your kids and explain them what it means as well. And this is what we did with our kids. Print out pictures for each line of the dua and explain it to them. Explain them what we're saying. And do this on the first day, print out the pictures, explain them what each picture means first, and then tell them that you are praying for all these different kinds of people in all these different kinds of situations when you're reciting that dua. And by the second or third day, all you need to do is recite the dua in Arabic and point to the pictures. So they're connecting the words to the picture. And then you can even tell them, the simple meaning of what Allahumma means because this word is repeating in the dua in every line so just tell them Allahumma means oh Allah every time you hear the word Allahumma you're calling out to Allah and saying oh Allah I'll give you a little background on some of the pictures we have used and do not underestimate kids we did this with the three four and five year olds and I was amazed. I didn't know how to explain certain things to them. I didn't make certain connections, but based on what they had learned previously, they started making those connections and sharing them. So the first picture is that of the graveyard and we tell them that once people have passed away, we pray for them because they can't do anything to increase their good deeds. So we pray for the people who have passed away to give them happiness in their hearts and in their journey ahead. Here we are praying for the children or the people around the world who are poor. Here we are praying for people around the world who are hungry. And I've used kids because they can relate to them. You can tell them that so, not only people, but there are so many children around the world who are poor, who are hungry. And obviously, if you're doing this with kids, you want to use kids in the picture so they can relate to them. Um, when you're talking about this picture, we showed them um, the picture and asked them what they could see and many of them mentioned that they see the children holding out a plate and the plate is empty. Now I would have made the pictures bigger so if you're using this with your kids make the pictures bigger. This is just an idea and a sample so they're much smaller but do make them bigger and stick them in a line so it's in order when you're reciting. Then children or people around the world who, are, who don't have clothes and when you're explaining them these things, don't just say you're praying to Allah to feed the poor and to clothe the people who don't have clothes. We talked about how Allah is not going to rain down clothes and food on these people. So we're actually asking Allah to make us the kind of people who can help these people out, who can help the poor, who can help the people who don't have clothes. Not by giving them unwanted clothes, but good clothes that we would like for ourselves. And then there's two different translations for this one. Later on, I saw that it also talks about the traveler. Uh, the first translation I used was a stranger. So it was a little difficult for me to explain them what a stranger meant. But I told them that when you travel or you go to a new place, you don't know people and people don't know you. And sometimes you can feel very lonely. And sometimes you might need to travel to those places and you don't have a choice. So, oh Allah, make everyone return back to their families. Just simple terms, this is how you explain it to them, that make them be with their families and people who know them and love them. This one here was also a tough one for me to explain. You know, how do you explain three, four, five-year-olds about debt? So 
in very simple terms, I told them, you know, sometimes we need to borrow money from people. And when we borrow money from someone, we are in a debt. We need to pay them back. So there are people who have borrowed money from others and now they have a debt and they're having a hard time paying them back. The next day when I asked them, they were able to explain me what a debt means. So do not underestimate kids. Then here we're talking about all the sad people. People go through different pains and challenges in life. People are sad because of many different reasons. They made that connection that people are sad because the 12th Imam is not here. There you go. They are making the connections on the different reasons why someone is sad. Someone is sad because of physical pains, but spiritual pains, being away from the Imam. So we're praying for all those people who are sad and asking Allah to remove their difficulties. So in this case, to bring the Imam back and make our hearts happy. In this one here, we talked about how some people are put in prison and they're innocent. They, it's not their fault, but they were put into prison. One child immediately connected that to Imam Musa al-Kadim because last month we talked about Imam Musa al-Kadim when we were talking about his birth and death and we talked about how he spent most of his life in prison. Immediately a five-year-old said like Imam Musa al-Kadim, he was put into prison and it was not his fault. Um, another child related that to the tragedy of Karbala, how the family of Imam Hussein were put into the prisons in Kufa and Sham and they were not at fault. The connections they're making based on what you've told them in the past. I didn't even think about it. I just explained them that there are people in prison and it's not their fault. They made the connections. Here we're praying for all the Muslims around the world, regardless of whatever situation they are in. We're praying for the sick here. This is just a picture of the hands because we're praying for all of us and to remove poverty from us and all those um. Uh, different uh, explanations in the dua for this one um, I think it's the part of the dua where we're asking Allah to change our evil state into his beautiful state one of the topics that we had covered earlier with the students was about the beautiful colors and the rainbow and we talked about the names of Allah and how the beautiful colors and the rainbow should remind us about the beauty of Allah, how Allah is so kind and merciful, and how when we try and implement these qualities of Allah in our hearts and in our daily lives, our hearts will be colorful. So the rainbow is also something because we had already discussed the colors of Allah and the names of Allah, is to remind them that we're asking Allah to help us become like Him, to use the qualities that He has of being kind and generous and forgiving. So they immediately make that connection with the rainbow. And then the last part, Allah has power over everything. And whenever we come to that, the kids just got it immediately. The next day when we practice the dua, one of the childs just shouted out, Allah has power over everything. So the whole universe. So make pictures, explain it to them. You can even, if your children are a little older, you can do the pictures with the words or you can do the pictures with the meaning on the side. This can also be used as a game if you're not sticking it on or you can have Velcro on the board and the children can match the pictures with the meaning depending on their age. So just an idea, one dua, teach them that with the meaning and it will benefit them and the joy of being able to recite the dua with understanding will be at a whole different level. If you liked this video, please share it with anyone who may benefit from it. Please keep us all in your du'as and please join and view shares to create a world that shares. When we've scanned the sky and we've sighted the moon and we welcome the month of Ramadan. When we'll fast together for Allah to help and strengthen our iman.